Hi everybody and welcome to our Thanksgiving prep tutorial. We're gonna teach you how to use Zoom and breakout rooms. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys is how to get the gallery view. If you're only looking at one person right now, you're gonna to wanna to move your mouse to the upper right hand side of your screen and click view. From there, you can either choose speaker or gallery. Right now we're in speaker and you wanna click gallery and now we can see everybody. Next, you have to wait for the host to open up breakout rooms. And so Janie is going to explain. Hi, everybody. So this time when we have our family party, we are going to use breakout rooms so that people can get together in smaller groups instead of trying to go around the circle in the main room. So we've created <laughs> 10 rooms. Some of them are named after rooms in a typical house. Some of them have suggestions for topics of conversation. All of these names are just suggestions. The room titles do not really mean that you have to talk about, say, um, kitchen related topics if you join the kitchen breakout room. They are just there to help us spread out and have smaller conversations so we can actually talk to one another on Thanksgiving. And you can feel free to pop in and out of various breakout rooms to talk to a variety of people. So I am going to open all of the breakout rooms right now so Rachel can show you how to use them. So as people join their breakout room, you will see that they're going to disappear from the main screen. And you find the breakout room icon on the bottom bar, the same bar that you can find mute, stop video, participants, chat, and all of those kinds of things. Sometimes people will freeze, which is what happened there. So when you click on breakout rooms, you're gonna have a list of all of the different rooms that you can possibly join. Under each room, you can see the participants who are there. So for example, in the living room, you can see Nancy and Janie, and Elsie is by herself in the dining room. All of these rooms are empty. You cannot see anybody in those rooms. Sometimes they might be minimized, so it will look like there's no one there, but you just have to find that little arrow and make sure that you double check. So from there, you can see how many people are joined in each room. There's nobody in all of these, which is why they say zero. And down here, we have two in the living room and one here. Now you can't click near Elsie, you have to click on that number, join, and here we go. Our screen is now loading, and there she is. We found Elsie in the breakout room. So from here, you're not stuck in this room forever. You can now join any room that you want to. So you have to go down to the bottom and find that breakout room icon, click on it, you can either choose ask for help if you have no idea what to do right now. When you click ask for help, the host, which is going to be Janie, will get a notification and she will come to your room to help you. Or you can choose choose breakout room. From there, you have the same list that you had originally. And we are going to join the dining room and join. Um, oh, no, we're in the dining room. We're going to join the living room to join Nancy and Janie. So remember, you have to hover over the number where you see join and click yes. Bye, Elsie. <laughs> okay, they're coming. And now we are in the breakout room in where are we the living room, I think. So really quick, before you start, we are automatically put back into speaker mode. So if you wanna be able to see all of the participants, you have to go back up to view and click gallery. And once again, we're back to our original setup. All right, off to you. And if anyone has any problems, technical difficulties, just reach out to one of us um, and our phone numbers will be in the email that uh, Janie will send out. And uh, just reach out to us and we'd be more than happy to help you. See you on Thanksgiving.